in Colossians 4.14 and Philemon 1.24, Demas is referred to as a fellow laborer, which implies that he was a believer. However, in 2 Timothy 4.10, it says, For Demas hath forsaken me, having loved this present world, and is departed unto Thessalonica. Does this imply that even people we thought were beloved and saved like Demas can end up being a false convert and ultimately fall away in love with the world or in fear of persecution or tribulation because of the word of God? Kind of wordy, but uh, hopefully you can see it on your screen. Yeah. Well, this is a good example of what's not in the scriptures of us reading our own theology and ideas into the scripture that isn't there. Okay, so what is being said? Paul says, hey, Demas was a fellow worker, so he was probably a disciple, right, that was with Paul doing the work of the ministry, but loving this present world just meant he probably went home to his family. That's He just didn't want to travel anymore with Paul and deal with the persecution that came with it. I mean, Paul was shipwrecked three times, and I mean, who can blame the guy, really? Um, so what we see here is that he stopped traveling with Paul. Does it say that Demas no longer believed? Does it say Demas lost salvation? Does it say Demas was a false convert? Does it say that he didn't endure to the end, so he's not going to have eternal life? It didn't say any of that. All it said is that he forsook Paul, he went back home, and Paul's now on his own. That's all. Uh, so I would say with that limited information, uh, I doubt Paul would hang out with a false convert. I'm so sick of people coming up with these unbiblical terms. Um, I doubt Paul would be hanging out with a false convert. Uh, anybody traveling with Paul probably had the power of the Holy Spirit to heal and so forth. Uh, and so all I see is one of the grounds you know jesus talked about the grounds uh the first ground uh didn't receive the word and it says lest they believe and be saved and so the seed is the word of god so the first one didn't take they didn't believe and they weren't saved one uh believed had joy but then the cares of the world and the persecution he got offended and he didn't continue serving or discipling for the lord right then the other one got distracted with what's going on, right? Maybe caring for his family, maybe the good things of the world, you know, riches or whatever distracted him. Okay, so that guy didn't produce for the Lord. But the good ground was saved and went on to produce much fruit. So he went out, he got saved and served, right? Well, the Bible doesn't say that if you come to the Lord and you get saved, but then you stop being a disciple and you stop serving the Lord that you'll not be saved anymore. It has nothing to do with Demas' salvation. It has to do with reward. Uh, First Corinthians 3 talks about if their works abide, they shall receive a reward. If not, they'll suffer loss. But he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. So there, there's... No place uh, where anybody says he's a false convert, he didn't really get saved, he stopped believing, or any of that. He just went back home and didn't didn't want to suffer the persecution anymore with Paul, the hardships that came with it. So I think it's very important that we don't put stuff in the scriptures that aren't there. Um, I think Demas probably lost tremendously. Uh, he, he lost the blessing of seeing Paul start of these churches. He lost a great reward in heaven, but he did not lose salvation. Uh, I, I think that God's love for us should motivate us as we're saved unto good works. But how do we know Demas didn't go on to do good works? We don't. We don't know. He could have gone home, been with his family, and then still preach the gospel where he was when he went back home to Israel somewhere and started uh, doing good works in his own community. We don't know what he did. So I think it's really, really important that we don't put things in scripture that's not there. 
Amen. I think that's the, the, the right thing to emphasize in this question. The, uh, I, these are theological terms, exegesis and eisegesis. Uh, we are supposed to use exegesis. In other words, exo means out. What it, we just take out of the scriptures what it clearly says. That's why I keep saying, let's go by what the Bible tells us clearly. Simple, clear, explicit. That's what we're going to apply for our doctrines. But eisegesis is, it means into. We're, we're going to put our thoughts, our theology, our, our doctrinal positions, we're going to impose them into the scriptures. And, and this is a perfect example of, of doing that, as, as Rene said. Uh, look at, the, it says in uh, verse 10, 2 Timothy, uh, uh, it says, uh, For Demas hath forsaken me. So Demas, uh, Paul is upset about Demas. He, he left. He, he feels like he just left him, forsake, forsook him. He's, uh, uh, Paul's obviously not happy about it. Maybe Paul's even bitter about it. And he says, having loved this present world. So maybe Demas just got worn out, tired, fed up. Maybe, maybe there was a personality conflict between Demas and Paul. And uh, he just said, I'm, not, I'm out of here. And he, Paul says he went to the present world. Well, he, maybe he went to the present world. He needed a break from, from uh, evangelism. Uh, uh, it, it was so hard. Uh, it, it's difficult what Paul was doing. How many people could keep up with Paul? And, uh, and the, but it goes on to say, and is departed unto Thessalonica, Crescens to Galatia, Titus to Dalmatia, so I'm going to impose that same thought and say that Crescens also is lost. Uh, he went to Galatia. Titus, wow, we have a book called uh, Titus. Uh, Paul wrote Titus a letter, a wonderful letter, uh, helping Titus to understand how to be uh, a pastor. Uh, certainly, uh, they seem like they're in wonderful terms when that letter was written. But he says, Titus left also. He went to Del Dalmatia. So are we going to conclude then that Demas, Crescens, and, Del uh, and uh, Titus all deserted Paul? And for that reason, uh, that's proof that they didn't, they're not really saved. And uh, what about uh, the, the problem that Paul had with John Mark? Well, uh, uh, he... he he, he, uh, Barnabas uh, wanted Paul to let John Mark come back after their falling out. And Paul said, no, he's not going to let him come back. And therefore, Barnabas left Paul. Are we going to conclude that John Mark never got saved? Are we going to say that Barnabas never got saved? He left Paul too. Uh, how many people in your life have you worked with in some ministry uh, and for some reason, you have to part company, and I can give you a long list of people like that that I, I that I know that uh, I'm not challenging any of their salvation. There's not a one of them that I used to work with that you ever heard me say they never were saved. But uh, we couldn't work together any longer, and so uh, it, it's a quite a big leap. Uh, please, everybody, pray for me that I will can have some patience. Because this kind of thing, this kind of question, this kind of thinking, this eisegesis, trying to put um, uh, this uh, false doctrine that people either lost their salvation or were never really saved based upon them leaving or whatever. All these examples we've given uh, or when people have, you have a falling out with someone and they, they leave. Well, no, we can't conclude that they never got saved because of that. Ben, what do you want to say? Well, you guys did. Uh, you guys did, did, did it all. One thing I would add is uh, I was going to use the same logic as you were going to talk about uh, with regards to guilt by association, because in the Philemon uh, twenty verse twenty three it says, "Epaphras, my fellow prisoner in Christ Jesus, greets you, as do Mark, Aristarchus, Demas, Luke, my fellow laborers." And some people were said like, "Oh, well, fellow laborer does it mean you're you're a fellow believer?" Well, I can say Mark wasn't. I can say Luke wasn't. Are those the same people who wrote the Gospels? Um, it, so yeah, it, 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 this question is riddled with uh, Isa Jesus, and it's implying so much that uh, 
yeah, people do fall away. People do get disinterested. Uh, you know, circumstances in life uh, draw them away. It's tragic. It's not right. I would I would rec- you know recommend it. Um, it's you know it, it, you know, I don't think the Lord looks uh, happily on it, but it does happen. Uh, but salvation can never be lost. It's a birth. It's a new birth. It can't be lost. This work. This question is clearly suggesting that uh, works are required or works prove uh, you, your salvation. So, you guys, uh, you guys did a great job on it. Yeah, yeah, it's implying that if you stop serving God, it just means you weren't really saved, and, and that's ridiculous. And although we, it does not say clearly. Yes, Demas was saved. First of all, Paul traveled with Holy Spirit-filled believers. I, I find it hard that Demas is listed, like Ben said, listed with two of the gospel writers, and yet we're just supposed to assume he really wasn't saved. So yeah, on one hand, it doesn't confirm he was a believer just because he's a fellow laborer, but Paul did not travel with unbelievers. So since he's listed with other people that we know were saints, I think we can lean on the side that he was a genuine convert. There's no evidence to the contrary. But even if you want to say he was never saved, okay, where are you getting that? There's nothing in the scripture that says it one way or the other. So you can't use Demas for any kind of uh, example other than to say a person can be saved and 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 fall away from discipleship. Uh, but to say, well, he was never really saved, you can't jump to that conclusion. He's listed along with other brethren that Paul considered Holy Spirit filled saints. So I I think we can err on he was a believer. And of course, saying somebody that's a disciple doesn't necessarily mean they're a believer. Of course, we know Judas never believed and he followed Jesus around. So that's absolutely true. But to just try to judge something based on one's behavior, that's never how we judge salvation. We judge it on the confession. And uh, it's clear to me that Paul, I think Paul would have been working with Holy Spirit filled believers. You see him in a couple of situations ask, have you received the Holy Ghost? And these people were baptized by John. They didn't have the full revelation of Jesus or the gift of the Holy Ghost. And so he made sure that he laid hands on them. They got the power of the Holy Spirit. So I can't see him traveling closely with a disciple and not confirming that he had the the Holy Spirit or the power of the Holy Spirit. I I don't know how that's even possible for him to do that. Because we see the people that he, he, he meets and he asked them, do you have the Holy Ghost? So I, I can't imagine that he was a false convert. I mean, you, you really got to just put it in the scriptures to make that work. Also, too, for First John, he exhorts his uh, uh, audience not to um, love anything in the world. In other words, they he wouldn't have to say that if that wasn't a real possibility. And I think anyone who says they don't love something in this world is lying to themselves. I mean, uh, there's things in this world I, I do love, you know. There's... <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm not. I'm not the much most the, the at the maturity level I'd like to be at yet. But um, but yeah, I mean, it, it has nothing to do with salvation. And he, didn't, he didn't really do anything wrong. Like like Heather pointed out, he forsook Paul. It just means he stopped traveling with him. That's it. I mean, people say he forsook him. Like he it, it no. It just meant he left Paul. He, he didn't want to travel with Paul anymore. He wanted to go home to his family. So uh, people put meaning into that. That's not there too. He forsook Paul having loved this present world more. He went home to his wife and kids. He didn't want to go through all the trouble that Paul was going through. I mean, you look at the list. 
how many beatings with with rods and with uh, stripes. He, he named so many. He was stoned. He, he got three shipwrecks uh, in danger of robbers, in danger of wild animals, in the desert, in the city. I mean, he just suffered so much. Demas just didn't travel with him anymore. That's all. So you can lose salvation. Could you stop traveling with somebody? Well, I mean, also Paul's, uh, Paul has quite a list of people that couldn't keep up with him and finally had to leave him. Yeah. 